there everybody and welcome to this video. So today we are going to be covering a new feature released in the Wave 1 update of 2023, so a little bit earlier this year. Um, it's called Analysis Mode and effectively um, what you can do with Analysis Mode is you can turn any page in BC into Analysis Mode and effectively turn it into an Excel type report. Um, so those of you guys that have received the updates in your BC environment should see this already on your BC when you log in. Um, but bear in mind, you may have to go to the feature management page, which I'm just searching for now, and you may have to enable this um, function here. So we'll do another video on exactly how the feature management page works, um, but just bear in mind, you may not see the analyze tool here you may need to go and enable it here in the feature management and obviously we'd recommend doing that in a sandbox environment first before doing that in your production environment okay so to demonstrate the analysis uh, mode tool what i'm going to do is just search for a page here called customer ledger entries um, so this is just um, the list of transactions which we have on our business central environment for our customers. Um, so we've got invoices, payments, credits, um, basically any transaction with a customer is going to be listed on this page. And the new Analyze tool is available on this page. It's available on most pages here. And what you can do is you can just flick this switch into um, yes and that then moves into analyze mode so we're still on the customer ledger entries page but we're now just in analyze mode and you'll notice the lower part of the page here just turns into sort of a different view and if I turn that back to no we can see here that it goes back to the, the traditional view that we're used to within business central um, so when we switch to analyze mode, uh, a few things happen. Uh, just going to break down this page so it makes a little bit more sense. Um, so we have the idea of tabs across the top here. So I'm just hovering over the analysis one tab right now. Um, and you always get um, a tab called analysis one when you go into analyze mode. So no matter what you do, you will always end up with that tab. Now, you can go in and work with these tabs. You can rename, you can duplicate, you can uh, move to the left or to the right and delete or delete all. Um, so just a few of these actions here. So I'm gonna rename this to demo analysis tool. Let's say rename and then I can go ahead and I can duplicate this and it's going to rename that with copy on the end. But if I don't want to duplicate, I can just press plus and that will give me a new tab altogether. So first thing to mention there is we can work in multiple tabs and each of those tabs, much like in Excel, are separate from each other. So you can work in one tab without affecting um, that which you see in another tab. Um, so the second part of this page is the data area. So that's where we have the data from the customer ledger entry. So these fields will look familiar. They're exactly the same as those from the customer ledger entries. And it basically just lists our data. Um, and you'll notice that I do have the little sandwich bar that comes up alongside each of the column names here. And I can just drag and drop these columns as I see fit. Um, so just moving down further to uh, the lowest part of the page here, uh, this is called the summary bar. And as the name suggests, it just gives us a summary of what we see with regards to the page that we're on at this point in time. So it tells me I've got 418 rows right now, but if I was to put a filter on, like we will in a minute, um, it will give me a little bit more information about that. And it also does some other pretty cool stuff. So if I start going to a field here, um, original amount, and if I literally just click 
hold my mouse and drag it down over a number of different um, rows there, what we get is um, this area here which shows us the average, the count, the minimum, maximum and sum of all the numbers that I've highlighted at that point in time. So very much like what you get in Excel um, but within BC um, and without having the need to, to export that to Excel. Um, so that's the summary bar, it just gives us some information about the um, data that we have on screen. Now we also have um, a filter pane here, sorry just click the wrong thing, uh, we've got um, the filter pane here which we can use to filter data so you can click into fields and you can filter by data here if you need to, that's not a problem, it works exactly the way that you would do that on BC within the customer ledger entries page or any other page. Um, but we also have um, the columns and the analysis filters area here. So um, these are areas which I can expand and collapse by just clicking the um, little sandwich there. Um, and this basically shows us the um, data view that we can see. So you can see here, I've got a list of fields. Uh, so I've got my posting date, I've got my document type, my document number, and these fields have all been selected on the left hand side here in columns that's why they're visible on the data area here. Now I can tick these fields here and that will start revealing the additional fields so if I say posting date month which sits in between posting date quarter and document type you can see that appears there in between posting date quarter and document type we have posting date month. Um, so use the column section here to add and remove columns from the view that we have within the data area. Um, and the final part here, uh, we have the analysis filters, which um, as the filter pane does, um, we can use this um, analysis filters to apply filters to the page that we're on at this point in time. So for example, I can go to my amount LCY and I've got a little drop down here. So I can say where the amount LCY field equals, does not equal less than, less than or equal to. I've got a few filters there that I can play with. Um, so I can set the criteria and I can set the filter value in this field here. Um, so what we'll do, we've been through sort of the page layout, um, we'll just next go into creating a very simple report. So we're going to remain on the customer ledger entries page and what I'm going to do is go back to columns and I'm just going to remove all of the columns. So quickest way to do that here is I can go into this little um, negative box um, next to the search bar and I can tick that to include all fields um, within the page or remove all fields and you can see they're added or removed and just bear in mind here guys if I go to my next tab you can see nothing is changed on here it's all the same so we're working in the demo analysis tool tab here so now that we've removed all those fields from the right hand side I'm going to go in and add some fields back in and one of the cool things that Microsoft have done here is they've given us some additional fields. Um, I mean, we'll all be familiar with the posting date field in Business Central, but just to make life easier when it comes to reporting using analysis mode, uh, we can choose posting date year, posting date quarter, or posting date month. And they've done that for a few of the fields here. And how that works is if I go in here and just choose my posting date, you can see I've got the different dates of our customer ledger entries. But then I can go in and say posting date year and that gives us the year from that particular transaction and I can go month and that gives us the month from that particular transaction. So just makes your life a little bit easier um, if you want to view the data in different ways. And um, so let's leave in posting date month and I'm going to scroll down here and we're going to go customer name and we're going to go remaining amount LCY and we're going to go due date month. So 
You can see very quickly there, we've created a report which has the posting date of my transaction, the customer name, remaining amount, and the due date month of my transaction. And you can see here, I've got my values and I can click into the transaction there. It takes me through to the underlying entry, the detailed customer ledger entries. From there, I can go ahead and find entries and do unapply entries, all the stuff that I could usually do in, uh, in BC. But you can see here, we've got quite a few zeros. And of course, this is the customer ledger entries table, which could have payments, it could have credits, it could have other bits of information in here. So how do we filter out this data? Well, what I'm gonna do is go to analysis filters here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is filter on the remaining amount LCY. So that's this column that we have on our report. And I'm gonna say where it is not equal to zero. So you can see there, I've got a few different types of transactions now. And if I wanted to, I could also go to another field here being the document type. And I can say, I only want to see invoices. And I mean, these filters are quite flexible, guys. I mean, I put on not equal to zero. You can say greater than zero, less than zero. Um, all those sorts of um, filters can be applied. So now, pretty quickly, guys, we've got um, a list of our customers with the outstanding invoices, and that is displayed by month. And what you can then start doing is, as I did earlier, is you can highlight these rows, you can do calculations, you can drill in, and you can do other such quick calculations here as you want to. Um, and just notice on the summary bar at the bottom here now, guys, because we've placed a filter on the page, it tells us we are seeing 13 rows out of the full set of data, which is 418. Um, and just one of the other things that I want to show you here is if I go into columns, I can put my page into pivot mode here as well. So what pivot allows me to do is it allows me to group my data set using different criteria. So if I go into pivot mode here, what I'm going to do is just unselect all my fields again, but I'm going to do the same thing. So let's go posting date month. Let's go customer name. Let's go remaining amount LCY. And due date month. Now, what the important thing here is, guys, is we get the column labels area added in when we go into pivot mode. And what this effectively means is I can use the, the column labels area to group the data that I want to see um, uh, and the way that I want to see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the due date month and I'm going to drag that into my column labels. And you'll see what this does is, and I guess this isn't an ideal um, sort of report here, guys. I guess we could have laid this out a little bit better. Um, but you can see here, guys, it's now split out the um, um, due date months and the numbers that we have in our report. Um, so we can break them down like that if we want to. So let me just get rid of that one. Perhaps that view looks um, a little bit better. So just by customer, uh, we've got a breakdown in due date by month. Um, I know there are other ways to get that information in Business Central, but it's just to illustrate how flexible the um, analyze tool is, um, just to, to, to demonstrate what we can do with it. Um, and what I will say, guys, is the Analyze tool is available on every single page within uh, Business Central. So we're on the customer ledger entries, but you could do this on your vendor ledger entries, your item ledger entries, your posted sales invoices, credit memos. Hey, it's uh, it's it's there to, to use, and we can use it on whichever page that we want to. Um, and one of the other things here is we can switch in and out of analyze mode as we want to. And we're just coming out of analyze mode there right now. 
And one of the things that I want to show you is when you go back into analyze mode, it saves all of the views that, that, that you've just made. So all of those um, all of those reports, I know we were just working on the one, um, will be saved there for me the next time that I go into BC. Um, and sorry, bear with me, it's just uh, crashed a little bit there. What I'll do is I'll just give it a refresh and we'll go back in. Um, so we've now given it a refresh and it's taken me back into the same customer ledger entries page. And if I go into analyze mode here, you can see my demo analysis tool tab is still there and it looks exactly the same as it was when we made it. So we're in pivot mode. We've got our fields that we selected. We've got the column labels set as due date month. And we've also got all the filters applied there as well, as well as our other two tabs here. Um, so just um, want to reiterate, guys, it's there on every single page. Please feel free to use it, have fun with it, enjoy it. And um, hopefully this, uh, this video helps you use the tool a little bit more efficiently. Um, thank you for your time and uh, we'll see you on the next one.